guys, it's Beverly. I got the video kind of tilted a little bit, so you're not getting my, all of my head. But at least today when I crochet, you, you can see I'm crocheting. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm so excited. I got my stocking. I'm going to measure it. So let's measure it to see what we're doing with our stocking today. So, so far... The stocking measures six inches wide, and I have the toe and the foot section done, and it measures, um, what is it, seven or eight inches? Oh, I didn't know my laptop was on. Must have been asleep. Okay, eight inches. Eight inches long with the toe and the foot. Okay, toe and the foot, eight inches long. Okay, and I got my little stitch marker here. And I want to do a little shout out to Evelyn. Look at the Evelyn sent me. I gotta do it so it doesn't reflect. A postcard from Hawaii. So this was, oh, on the back of it, it shows all of the islands. And then, um, Aloha Beverly. I know she's home now. Because <laughs> um, she was on the live this morning with Christy. And she was having an amazing vacation, seeing the many exciting things that aren't in the continental United States. And there's a lot. The mountains and the waterfalls, beautiful. But I know Tennessee has mountains and waterfalls. Um, and she's missing her yarny friends. But, of course, she's back with her yarny friends now. Thanks, Evelyn, so much for the postcard. It's right here. Okay, so I measured the stocking, the um, foot and the toe. And it's 8 inches. So we're ready for the heel. So I didn't cut the yarn for the foot yet. I want to see how the heel works. Because we have to switch back to the toe color to do the heel. Now, it says with right side facing, okay. And the smaller hook, which is the eye. Skip the first 31 stitches of the last round of the foot. So I put a stitch marker. Because, see, I don't know how this is going to work my first time making it. I put a stitch marker in the working yarn of the last stitch of the foot. Okay. And... According to this, what do we do? Slip stitch in the top of the first, yes. So the last stitch we did was in the top of the first. So first double, front post double. So we're not going to count the chain there as a stitch right this minute. So it says in the 30, 31, first 31 stitches of the last round. Okay, so we're going to count that first front post double, double. So 31. Okay, so for me, the 31st stitch was that last back post. Okay. Okay. 
and then it says skip the first 31 stitches of the last round of the foot and draw up a loop of the heel color in the next stitch so basically it's that last group of half front post half front post double crochet <laughs> blah you know how we have 11 at the end of the row so that's where we're at okay so we're gonna pull up a loop draw up a, lo a loop from the heel color okay I did chain one and single crochet in the same stitch okay and just for fun I'm going to use one of Evelyn's stitch markers these are cool until I drop them on the floor hi Christy <laughs> I don't know if she's watching these she's so busy but wasn't that nice of her you guys to mention me on the live today oh my goodness and she mentioned the fact that I need watch hours and I just am so blessed you know cuz I'm just a girl in my bedroom doing videos <laughs> okay single crochet in the next 10 so we've got 11 okay total here so I did a single crochet and so I'm going to do 10 more. So basically, that 11. Okay, let's do this heel together, you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to tell you guys. Oh. So, I sold a blue baby blanket through Amazon. Then the person decided that they ordered it by mistake. So, Amaz we refunded the money, you know, Amazon did. And I intercepted the package. It was so cool. I got on a live chat with UPS and I said, intercept the package and they intercepted it. it's on the way back to my house can you believe it I never did that before two four six eight ten eleven so I got eleven single crochets now what does it say you know because I would have had to depend on those people to do the right thing and return it so they never even got it. Okay, one single crochet. To joining of last round of foot. I don't think we need that part. Single cro in crochet in the same stitch. Joining. Oh, some quote to join of the last round of the foot. Oh, so I guess I guess it was kind of cool that I, I guess let that stitch, <laughs> but anyway. So, I'm gonna, how am I gonna do this? Yeah, I got the right yarn. So that, it said you could fasten that off, so I probably should have fastened that off. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now I'm gonna take this stitch marker out that I had. Okay, so are you guys confused? Fasten off your foot and single crochet in the join of the last Come on. Let's 
So single cro crochet in the stitch that you fastened off on the heel, on the foot. Okay, single crochet in the fasten off of your foot. And then 10 more. So basically we're doing another 11, okay? So we did, we joined the yarn and did a single crochet. In the 32nd stitch, we went 10 single crochets, then we single crocheted in the fasten off of the foot. Now we're going to do 10 single crochets. I hope that didn't confuse you guys. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm just going to go ahead and put, so in the 12th stitch is the fasten off of the heel. I hope you guys aren't confused because it is a confusing. So I know to, where my 10 is. So there's two. But of course it's going to tell us how many stitches that we should have at the end of this row, which is 22. Okay. So join your yarn on the 32nd stitch. Do single crochets until you have single crochet 22 single crochets that's it 22 single crochets and I'm gonna, which is basically back to that last back post I think so I'm gonna count okay so I'm over here in my 32nd stitch and I did a single. So nope, I got 23 stitches. You're only supposed to have and then over here is supposed to be 20 stitches unworked. This is confusing, you guys. <clears throat> well, I've got the right number of unworked stitches because you're supposed to have 20 unworked stitches. Okay, so it's from back post to back post. So let me count these again. Because 11 and 11 is 22. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. <clears throat> okay, I got my eleven. <laughs> or my twenty two. Yeah, so I went ahead and fastened off that. Join. And then I know that the heel, yeah, the heel is made between those 11 stitches that were on the back. So that's where you get your 11 from. Okay, so I got my 22. Now, <clears throat> leaving 20 stitches unworked. Now we're going to have rows 2 through 10 
are going to be the same. So let's do row two together. Okay. So chain one and turn. And single crochet two together. Okay, so what you do is you insert your hook and pull up a loop in the next stitch. And you have two loops on your hook. Insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook. And you pull the yarn through all three. And that is single crochet two together. Single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. Okay. So let's go. Do we have two stitches? I'm going to put a stitch marker in that first stitch. I mean, I can see it, but I just want to mark it because I want to use these cool purple stitch markers I got from Evelyn. Now Evelyn is going to make a stocking too. She's making it in the Grinch colors. So the heel and the toe is a uh, red and the foot and the leg are going to be that lime green, greenish color. So that's going to be cool. I can't believe it. I, I've said this a million times. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay. So. Oh, I see. So this is going to decrease. And you have four stitches that remain in row 10. Wow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I peeked as to what's going to be ahead. So on each row, we're reducing it by two stitches. It did say turn. Yeah, it did say turn. So we're going to be turning back and forth. We have to, how, how else can we do it? You can truly see that I'm doing this right along with you guys, because... Okay. Oop, my stitch marker fell out, but I'm, I'm right there. Okay, so I'm going to do two single crochets together. So I'm going to insert my hook and draw up a loop. Insert my hook and draw up a loop. I have three loops on my hook. Pull through all three. Chain one and turn. Okay, so maybe we should do a stitch counter. I don't have one in here. So I'm just going to make a mark on my paper. Okay, so that was row two. What I just did. So I got two marks on my paper. <coughs> so let's do it again together. Alright, so we're going to do single crochet two together. Insert your hook, pull up a loop. In, in the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Pull through all three. And I'm marking mine with a stitch marker. There we go. And now I'm going to single crochet all the way across to the last two stitches.
Now, if you guys are just joining us, don't forget that the link is for the stocking is below. This is a free pattern from Yarnspirations. And I'm doing this as a Christmas in July challenge from Crochet Creations by Christy. And if you came over here from her channel, you're welcome to join us. Thank you so much. And if you have problems with this, just make a comment below or do send me an email. My email's below. And we'll get to, get you going on it because it's you know my other video I have a toe video and a foot video I think no I, we did the toe we started the foot and that it was in one video okay now we're doing the heel and then we're going to start the leg okay I got two stitches left insert your hook pull up a loop I'm going to remove the stitch marker. Come on, baby. There we go. Insert the hook. Pull up a loop. Pull through three. And I'm going to make a mark on my paper. So I've already completed row three. Chain one and turn. Okay, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through all three, and I'm going to mark the stitch marker. I think this is a bigger one, it might be easier. It may fall out. Okay, so now I'm going to single crochet all the way across till I get to the last two stitches and then I'm going to single crochet two together so I'll catch you back when I have ten rows okay guys I got four stitches left one two three four four stitches left one with the stitch marker and then two in the middle or three four stitches okay let's see what happens okay row eleven chain one and turn two single crochets in the first stitch so that's that first little hole so two single crochets so I'm going to mark that first one okay now what single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch so that's going to be come on yard it's going to be <laughs> it's tangled in my stitch marker so much fun okay one Two, and then there's my stitch marker so it says to do two in the last stitch okay so it looks like I have one two three four five six stitches in this first row so that's row 11, so I'm going to write 11 down on my paper, and then chain 1, and turn, 2 single crochets in the first stitch, 1, 2, so that first hole is a little hard to see, 
when it goes in that first little hole. And then stitch all the way across to the last one. So I'm going to mark this one with the marker. There's my marker. So the first one, so you see you've got that little tiny bump on the end. Right next door is that stitch. So that's there. And then single crochet all the way across. And then I'm to my stitch marker, so in that bump, before that little bar at the end, we're going to put, in that stitch before the bar, we're going to put two in. Two single crochets. And so now I have two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to chain one, if it lets me here. Come on, don't split. And then this very first little hole here on the end is where I'm going. Right in there. So I'm going to put two in there. So that was one and then two right on that little end. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker. A little easier if that sock isn't hanging down. Okay, um, let's single crochet across. And you're going to be increasing one on each end until you have 22 stitches. So I'm all the way over to my stitch marker. I'm going to do two in that last one. Chain one, turn the work. And in that little tiny slit on the side, I'm going to do two stitches. One, two. And I think I forgot to mark my paper for row 12. And then that might be 13, so I'm confusing myself. So I think I'm just going to keep doing it till I get 22 stitches. So I'll meet you back when I have 22 stitches. Okay guys, I got 22 stitches. It says to fasten off. <laughs> and sew up the sides. So, I don't know, I think I'm going to leave a tail. I never did a hill like this before, so I don't really know. So I'm going to cut the yarn and leave a tail. And then I'm going to fasten it off. So I'm going to pull it through. Okay, there it is. Now, I didn't sew in my tail from my foot. So i got to do that. So i got to do that. I have my stuff in a, a glass bowl here. So that was that noise. Okay, so I got to sew in my tail for my foot, and I have to sew in my tail for the start of the heel. You guys, I never have done a heel like this before. <laughs> so I guess we're going to turn the wrong side out and then sew this up. But first, I'm going to go ahead and sew in my tail from the foot. So I told you guys, you know, we are making this together because this is the first time. And, you know, I think you could use these techniques in knitting also. 
or knitting a sock or if you're going to do a crochet sock. Okay, I got my foot in weaved in and I'm going to leave this join for the heel until I get down there. So I guess I don't need the stitch marker anymore. So I, I left a tail and my darning needle. And you guys are probably better at this than me because I don't really know. It just says fasten up so side edges of heel together. So I guess you just fold it. Down and join it to row one, I guess. I've got right sides together. And there's row one. Um, maybe not row one. Just fold it in half, I guess. And wherever it comes out, that's where you do it, I guess. <laughs> nope. And I guess I'm doing a whip stitch. So, this yarn's pretty long, but I can use it on the other side. And I'll just kind of whip it stitched. I'm glad Christy gave me this to do because it's going to teach me another way how to do a sock. And it's, in, you know, it's bigger than trying to work with small needles and small yarn. So, So I guess we whip it up to here and then we'll fasten it off. Oh, yeah, it's like I said with these intermediate patterns. They expect you to already know a bunch of stuff. I found that out when I was um, working on an intermediate pattern in a crochet magazine. Because I felt like there was some steps missing. And I contacted the magazine and uh, they reviewed my request. And that's what they said. Uh, when you do an intermediate pattern... Certain stitches are taken for granted. I said, oh, okay. I guess I'm not an intermediate. <laughs> okay, so I'm here to the end. Of this side, anyway. Pull my yarn out. And finish off side and drop the yarn through a little and pull and snip it off and I'll take a look at what we've got. you guys what I got you can't see it because it's green but there's the seam so I guess I fold it over and do the same thing and see I have my tail over here but I don't think yeah it's too far down 
So I think I'm going to have to sew that one in too. But I'm going to fold it here and start here at the top so that I'll know. Okay, so I'm going to insert this needle um, through both thicknesses or edges, I guess, and leave my tail. And then I'm going to whip stitch over top of my tail. You guys probably already know how to do this part. I never have made a sock like this, as I've said already. <laughs> So Evelyn's one in the Grinch is going to be cool. Like Christy said, she's, I don't have it right here, but she sent me that fun fur stuff. I'm going to have, she said there's enough there to make five stockings. <laughs> Who knows if these sell really good. I mean, mean it. And then I'll think of Christy every time I make one. Okay, guys, I'm just whipping this. It's just kind of boring. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start the leg with the other yarn and I have no idea how that's going to go because I haven't skipped ahead I have no idea some of you probably got your stockings done already not me. The next video is going to be the Christmas card towel. I'm working on the reindeer one. And the rest of the mail will be Christmas towels. Okay, I guess I gotta fasten this off. I did cut this a little long. But I did it now. Okay, and then so I'm gonna go up under my stitches here. And snip this off. And so, in my beginning tail for the heel. Okay, so see, you got an extra 12 inches probably. And so, then I'm going to find this tail over here and sew this in. So, this is the beginning where I put the Join the heel yarn. So let's figure out which way I should do this. And see, I, I, I'm sewing in all my tails as I go, so that way I don't have to reach my arm down a long sock. The length of this sock doesn't really say it's 27 rows the length of the leg I'm gonna go back through one more time the other way and then I'll be done or this off and I'm going to turn this right side out so we can see what it looks like 
Here's my heel, you guys. It is a sock. It looks like a slipper for a very big person. It's a sock. Can you guys believe it? There we go. So that's what we got. Now we got to add a leg. Okay. Let's find the stitch markers. Okay. Leg with right side facing and the smaller hook, which is the eye, draw up a loop of the leg color in the 12th stitch of the last row of the heel. <laughs> in the 12th stitch of the last row of the heel. So this is so this part right here is the top row of the heel. Okay, I gotcha. Now the twelfth stitch of the row of the heel. I wonder if it's just the center. I'm gonna fold this and mark it. And just and then count. And then you guys will know if it's just fold it and start in the center. Okay, so remember we're gonna go back to front post and back post and the chain two didn't count. Okay, I think I figured it out. If you look at your sock down here, okay, the first stitch where we're going back in here is going to be a back post. So that means the last stitch, that number um, 11th stitch or 12th stitch, because you have a chain two, and then you do 10 half doubles, and then you have one last half double. And that half double has to be in the last stitch of the heel yarn. And see, so you guys will see it better because look at mine. Mine's green, all green. And if you are doing like Evelyn, you're going to have the lime green and you're going to have the red. So I figured out that the first stitch of the actual leg has to be a back post. So the last stitch on this heel has to be above the front post and you'll see it if your yarn is in different colors. See, I have problems because my yarn's all green. It, luckily, you know, lucky me, it all blended into green. So I figured it out. So then um, that last half a double crochet is the last stitch. If you can look, I don't know if you can see, but see the greens are different. That 11th stitch is in that lighter green yarn and then you skip that first front post which is right below it and then do a back post front post back post and then you've got to make a cable in the same spot that you were making cables so that's how i narrowed it down was it if i was didn't do it right my cable would not show up in the right spot and don't forget you're switching from half doubles to front post doubles so this part up here is um half doubles down here are front post doubles so hopefully you got it and then I did my cable in the right spot. So however you do it, you have to finagle it so that your cable ends up on top of your previous cables and your back post and your front post match up. So hopefully that's clear as mud. Let's see, you can see how I ended up doing it. 
Okay. Yeah, so you can count that however you need to. Like, you know, you could count back from the back post to get your center. Let me see here. It really it did turn out to be the center stitch when I held it like that. But now it makes sense. Okay, so then it says put the way that we've normally been doing. Okay. <laughs> so I'll meet you back when I get over on that side. So what we're going to do is just repeat the pattern that we did for the foot. Okay. I did the front of the leg. I ended on the last back post. So I did two cables with front post, back post, and just like the pattern. Okay. Now it says that Half double crochet in the first 12 stitches of the last row of the heel. No. Half double crochet in the same stitch as the first stitch of the row of the heel. So, our next stitch would be a front post, back post. I mean, if you took a look and you looked at the foot. Okay. So, Take a look at that front post and follow it up. And it joins to the heel, okay? So there's that join. I'm gonna go back up here to the top of the heel and I'm gonna count. And because I need to put an 11. Ooh. Okay. So that. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So then I'm going to do. A half double crochet in this first stitch okay so let me show you if I can show you <clears throat> so here's my back post I just did this back post and see here it would be the front post okay so and if you go up from the front post you're gonna have this stitch so I'm going to do a half double crochet in that stitch. And if I count, this is a stitch right here up to my last, to my chain two, there's 11. So that's how I'm going to do this. So here we go. <laughs> so. We're going above that half double crochet. No, we're going above the front post double crochet. And we're making a half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm going to do a half double crochet right here. Just kind of making a hole, so I'm going to try to get above this. Nope. See if I can get in the loop. Because, see, when I make my regular socks, I always end up with a hole right here at the whole heel. These are kind of tight. Double crochet, half double. Whoop, I'm doing singles here. Half double. There's my back post. Okay. 
king. That looks like a small. It doesn't even look like a half double. <laughs> go back. Let me go back. I'm making it. It's an intermediate, guys. It's an intermediate. It's a make along. <laughs> Don't get frustrated. Let the work tell you what you're supposed to do. After this rose over, we'll just go back to what we've been doing. So technically you should have 12 half double crochets and then join in the chain two. So let me see what I got here. That is a front post. That's a back post. Two, four, six. That's a back post. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And then I'm wait I'm gonna join my slip stitch marker fell out. I wonder why. And Join in the top of the chain two. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> I finally got it in the join. Okay, so let's. I'm going to show you what I got here. So on the first side from the heel. So this was the beginning of the heel. So. When I came down, this is the first part of the leg, and that's a back post. So you should have tw 12 stitches, counting your chain two. Then I worked the pattern, and there's my cable. And there's my next cable and then the last stitch on the leg was a back post let me hold it a little better so right there that stitch right there is the back post then I had to start and do 12 stitches to meet my chain two space so what I did was I actually counted from night right next to my chain two and I counted 12 little lumps pretty much when I was down to this part and I just inserted them and it made it come together okay hopefully that helps okay so that is round one of the leg Round two is chain two, and it says to do a front post double around the beginning chain two of the previous row. So that's the stitch that we just joined in. So we're going to do a front post double. And then a front post double around each of the next three stitches. Oh, so we're going to have cables around the back. Not just in the front now. We're going to have cables around the back. Okay, so we did a front post on that chain two from the previous row and then we're doing three front posts. I get it. 
hopefully you guys get it too. So technically we've got four front post doubles. And we're back to where we're going to join in the top of the first front post. And the chain, we're not going to join in the chain. Correct. And we're going to have 44 stitches. So right now, I just completed four half double crochet, four front post double crochets. Now I'm going to do a back post around the next stitch. And a cable over the next two stitches. Hmm. So a cable means I'm going to skip the next stitch, do a front post over the next stitch, go back and get that skip stitch with the front post. Okay. And then we're so then we're going to skip that first front. So that's our cable. Then we're going to do a back post around the next stitch so on both sides of our cable there is a back post double okay now what does it say front post around each of the next four And I want you guys to tell me if this is anything like any sock pattern you've ever done. Yeah, so now we're back to back post over back post. Okay. Because we're on the front of the leg. And then a front post. And then a back post. And the next should be a cable. It is. So let's do a cable. Okay, so just follow the pattern and I'll meet you right back. Okay, I just completed that last back post. And now I need to do four front posts. And then we're on the heel stitches. So there's a front post. So there's four. One. Two. Back post around the next cable, a next stitch. Is 
Is it time for another cable already? I guess. Okay, so that means we skip one. Whoop. Skip one, do a front post. Go back and front post over the one you skipped. Post over the next one after you skip that one. Is that right? I don't know, I'm confused. I wonder why. Okay, I need to do a back post over this one. I hope I did it right, you guys. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna be right, you guys. Okay, so I got a cable, I got it back, and now I got four stitches left. So now I'm gonna do four front post doubles. And then join with a slip stitch in the top of the first front post double crochet. Cool. I made it. So basically what you're doing is you're doing the pattern all the way around. Okay. So that's round two of the leg. All right, round, it says you have 44 stitches, so I guess we should. So I ended up with 44 stitches on row two, on round two row two round two and there's stitch markers all over the floor and the pattern ended up on the floor <laughs> crazy now we're on row three and row three is a no cable round so the legs of the cable you do front post on them with no skip. And I'll meet you back when we're ready for round four. Okay, finished round three. And now round four and five are the same. And this is where the cables are going to come in. Okay. So. After row four and five, then you do row six through 26 is the same as row three through five. So then I'll be making a chart. You know, like we did before. If you can see my chart, if I put this back here, maybe you can see it. So I'll be numbering six through twenty-six, and then I'll be putting a three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four, five. And so, row. Four and five have cables in row three. You do the two front posts with no skip. So that's what that is about. So I'm going to make my chart and get ready to do rows four and five and then make my chart and do rows three, four, and five, and up to row 26, and then row 27 is different. So I'll be joining you back when I'm on row 27, and that will be in the next video. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, what a stocking. I still have stitch markers on the floor, but the patterns up here. <laughs> 
I hope you guys are still with me making this um, stocking. Here's what it looks like so far. It looks like, it looks like, you know what it reminds me of? I'm from Michigan, as you guys probably know. And when I got hold it like this, it reminds me of one of those Dutch, Dutch shoes in Holland, Michigan. They had, you know, the tulips all the time. It, it just, it's a big foot. I don't know what size is. I'll have to measure it and see how big the size of it is. Look at Christy. I'm doing the leg next. Um, I got this much yarn left. The label already fell off. That was another thing that fell. So I still got quite a bit of yarn. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make two stockings or not. But look at this big foot. <laughs> but it's not for wearing. It's for putting goodies in. <laughs> okay, I, I hope you guys are still hanging out. Love you, bye. Hugs, hugs. Love you, bye.